What are do players and trainers? It is your boy the blazing squids and welcome back to the TOTP G channel and we have for you guys an off-season power ranking post draft. I'm super excited to see these players battle it out, but I'm not alone guys. I have joining me Hi guys, how's things? Professor Beware here and um, yeah, the off-season is looking to be pretty good um, They've all drafted and we're gonna be going over the teams yeah. Um are you hyped for anybody that's in this draft? I, we have a lot of new members actually that even joined this off season. So yeah, like yeah, a lot of new people joined the server. LDL getting big now. A lot of new people. A lot of competition. Yeah. So okay, just to give you guys a heads up, uh, the post draft is my tier list. Um, Jack didn't give me a list, so we, we just to kind of rush through this real quick. But following week one, we will have a list from each side of us. Um, so we're going to start off who I have ranked in spot number 16. And spot number 16 we have is going to be the Philadelphia Phantoms and their coach, Lorxy. Lorxy. I think it's Lorxy. Um, so when I was kind of looking at his draft, I really liked the stuff he had. Like, he has Landorus Eye. I was like, that's power. He has Kyron Black. That's power. Mega Alakazam. Awesome. Sylveon. Awesome. Miltank. Awesome. Darmanitank. Good Mon. So this is like kind of where the issue comes in for me. After those six Mons, like Registeel, okay. Skunk Tank, all right. Ambutom, eh. Gogurt, okay, Raichu, eh, and Drifloom. Like, I know they can be viable mons, but like, overall, I don't know if the synergy's there. <sighs> I, I like this first six. The si first six are very powerful, but I feel like all his his power went into the first six, and then he just kind of picked up some okay to trash mons towards the end. I, for me, and I, I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I fully agree with you. Um, you've got to put, you've got to pick, like a full team of things that you're gonna at least bring to some games. Driftblim, maybe one game, but your opponent, it's very easy to prepare for Driftblim. Things like Go Goat, I don't really see what they bring to the team. And personally, I'm a big, I'm like massive about Hazard and Hazard removal. He's only got two Stealth Fox Edders, no Toxic Spikes, no Spikes. Um, and he's got three defoggers in uh, Driftlim, Landorus, and Skuntank. No Rapid Spin, and I think no Rapid Spin is a big uh, hindrance for his team. And I'm... But, as you said, the first six are very strong, very powerful, hard to prepare for. But the hazard removal, lack of hazard removal, is what throws me off this team. Yeah, I completely agree. I, I feel like he, he has a few, um, but like, not sure. Uh, really not sure how far it'll go, but yeah first six like as I mentioned I, I actually mentioned this in a lot of draft leaf. It's if you have a powerful six um, People are just gonna pretty much prep for those six and if you bring those six your opponent already prepped for your six which is like I Don't know if it'll get you too far, but that's enough on Jake and Lorxy uh, Let's move on to spot number 15 who we have the moon valley Mewtwo's and their coach, Brandon, a veteran, uh, veteran, uh, you know, Brandon always knows what he's doing. Uh, but what are your thoughts? Have you been looking at his team? Um, I yeah, yeah, I've got his team up here. Okay, cool. Um, so Brandon is a very strong player, as we know, and I like me plus Mega Sizzle, plus Mamoswine, plus Salamence, all very strong. All very, all very difficult to deal with, and then plus a snow axe which can just barely drum up on your face, stuff like that. Whimsicott, nice defogger, uh, Toxapex, very hard to take down. But once again, no rapid spin. I'm not seeing like Whimsicott. It's nice to have a bulky grass type in draft, and Whimsicott is not necessarily bulky. It's going to die to most hits, so. But I do like the Mega Sizzle Victini. I'm not really seeing a very big special offense because Houndoom, I would say, only thing really, like, specially offensive that's going to really threaten your opponents. So that's what I'm. Victini also can be run special and Salamence, but you're normally going to see them run like 
physical with like banded v crate stuff like that so what's your thoughts on it uh yeah true um yeah um he has a lot of hard hitting months like physically uh, speaking uh very good um yeah I, it's just the lowest tier mons kind of like throw me off as well um i'm not a huge toxapex fan I'm not sure what how much Toxapex is gonna be doing other than Toxic Recover, uh, Snorlax. He has the bulk to it. He has the bulk to the team. Um, hazard wise, he's very limited to Toxapex and Mamoswine. So uh, if you see one of those, potentially you're gonna know they have hazards. Uh, he has no cleric user, um, like no cleric. Um, yeah. Um, Hundoom, not sure if it's the best fire type. It's a, it's a good fire type, I'm not gonna lie. It's a decent fire type. It's very fragile though. Um, but, not sure. Oh, he has Victini. So that's like a better fire type. But I think in Breast Protect, I don't know, it's a good team. It's a good team, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like it lacks something. I, I think it kind of falls also with um, Lord C team. Like Vitini, Scizor, Mamoswine, and Salamence are all uh, great rings, and you probably expect them most of the weeks, and Snorlax as well. But I think part of the problem is probably the fighting weakness, but Toxapex kind of has it. it it's, it's mediocre. I, I feel like it, it's a good team, but it, 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 it lacks... Like you mentioned, the special attacking side, special attacking other than Whimsicott and probably Hundoom and Big Teeny at times, it, it has nothing else. Nothing else. Hmm. And I don't like that he only has one thing above base 105 speed. I think you should have two or three things above base 105, not just rely on like the base 100, six elements of Big Teeny. But overall, it's quite a decent team. Um, I'm excited to see what Brandon can do with it. Yeah, Brandon, and... Brandon's a veteran. Uh, he, he knows what to do with these stuff like that. Uh, let's move on to number 14. 14, we're going to have the Utah Valley Talent Flames. Another veteran of ours and their coach, Jordan. Uh, Jordan's rocking out Mega Charizard X, Kartana, uh, Latios, uh, Azumarill, Nihiligo, Doug Trio. Alamomola, Durant, him on top, and Ditto. I probably should mention all the Pokemons on their list, uh, so you guys have an idea, more or less. Um, I know the way Jordan plays. Jordan likes uh, his speedy mons, and you guys can see here Charizard X at 100, Cartana at 109, uh, Latios at 110, uh, Nihilig O at 103, Duck at 120. Like, I was like, wow, this team... Um, he has rapid spinners, he has rockers, he has toxic spikes, he has defoggers, um, but kind of also a lot of his points just went to his strong tiers, which being Kartana, Mega Charizard X, Latios, Azu, and probably Nihiligo, and Dugtrio. Um, so he kind of limited his roster to only nine mons here. Um, And I feel like this team wise, even though it's very good offensively, it, I don't know, it always la it lacks something. I don't know if Ditto is a great fit for this team. It might, in certain situations, it might be. Uh, but overall, it's probably another team where. I could see basically Charizard X, Kartana, Latios, Azu, Nihiligo, and Dugtrio coming most of the weeks. Like, that's probably going to be his starting six. And potentially Elamomola comes at times, or the, one of the other guys coming at times. Any thoughts? Um... Well, yeah, I agree with you. I, I am a big fan of Hyper Offense, but I think even if you're going to run like a really offensive team, you need some kind of bulk to go with it, like maybe one or two bulky mons. And here, I'm not really seeing a lot of bulk. Like, what does he do when something gets in against him? Gets a sword stance up, 
or, or a calm, a few calm minds, how does he stop it? I'm not seeing a lot of... Yeah, he's got Azumarill, which is very strong. His team is very powerful, and I like that about his team, having power. Uh, I just don't like the lack of defense, and as you said, he's, he's like the other two coaches. There's only a few months he can really try to utilize here. I mean, Durant is pretty strong. I don't see it coming every week. Stuff like Doug Trio, stuff like that might come a few weeks. But yeah, it's quite a decent team. I know Jordan is very capable of working with uh, teams like this, and I'm excited to see what he can do with it. Yeah. Uh, to prove think, me wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Latios, great Z user, though. Gotta agree with that. Um, and probably even Doug Trio. I don't know how much, probably. What's an earthquake when you turn into Z Crystal? It's like base 180 or 200. So, yeah, one, like 180, something like that. All right. But yeah, without a doubt, I think most of these coaches will probably shut us up or even prove us prove us right, in a, in a sense, after week one. But we're going to jump on to spot number 13 and the Detroit Zogaleos. So Detroit Zogaleos will be rocking up with the Hoopa Unbound, uh, Mega Pinter, Gliscor, Breloom, Rotom Heat, Swamper, Fortress, Toxipec, I mean Toxic Croak. Uh, Guzzlord, Golem, Alola, Aurora, Aurora's, and Alolan Slan Slash. I like this team. I like this team. Not sure how I feel about the Hail team. The Hail team, like, you can't bring one and not bring the other. That kind of like, uh, you know, it's a pair, and once you bring those two, it kind of like limits what else you can bring out throughout the week. Um, he has nice power with Hoopa. Uh, mega Pinter is a good Mega. I don't think it's one of the best Megas, but if you can make it work, it's awesome. Uh, he has Gliscor, Rotom Heat. Um, decent Mons. Decent Mons. He has probably, what does it look like? Two Defoggers? Two Defoggers, mm. two Rapid Spinners. Uh, he has good Hazard, good Hazard. He has no Wish Passers or Cleric users. But, so he kind of lacks recovery in that sense. Other than, what, Gliscor gets Roost? I think that's like, that's about it for yeah. recovery. Well, I, I, I'm i a fan of this team. Like, half, like I like this team, but there's also some things that bring it down. Like, Rotom Heat is one of my favorite things to use, like, ever. Um, <laughs> I just love it. Um, any, I can't. I don't know if I can see any U-turning mons on here. Um, Gliscor. Oh, Gliscor. Yeah. yeah. Gliscor, uh, and Bolt Switch, Rotom. And this is a very, very slow team, um, which means he has to bring some kind of speed control most weeks, and your opponent can prepare for that. If it's Trick Room on Hoopa, or like Tailwind, or something like that. I'd, I agree. Like Sand, it's an okay weather. Whether it fits with this team, I'm not too sure, but Mega Pinsir, I know it's a very big threat, and if you can get that thing in with a Sword Stance, um, and he needs all the hazard removal he can get, so Glisco, Rotom Heat, Fortress, Sand Slash, he needs all the hazard removal for Pinsir, and um, Pinsir plus something like Breloom, they look really good together, and yeah, that's True. what I have to say. Yeah, um, so it's a good team. I think he, he kind of acts a little bit bulk on the special defense side, other than Hoopa. So, like, a, a special fairy type kind of is a problem. He has the Rotom, but we'll see how he handles it. I, I have faith in Zenamon. Zemanan. Is it Zemanan? Zemanan. Zemanan, yeah. yeah. So, I have faith in him. Uh, I loved his um, LDL Evo League. He was a really fun coach to watch. I expect, I hope he does also do the offseason. So, We'll see with that. Uh, but let's jump on to spot number 13, who we're going to have here. Uh, the Burning Ham Jolts. Oof. That's going to be a cool. Oh, we have two Burning Ham coaches. Oh, well. All right. So this is going to be coached by the 8th Hokage, <laughs> also known as DJ. Uh, so DJ is going to be rocking out with Skarmory, Nido Queen, 
Gyarados, Scizor, Alakazam, Heracross, uh, Rhyperior, Umbreon, Mega Ampharos, Blastoise, Ninetales, and Venusaur. So this is kind of another Sun Team. Um, I like it a little bit more. A little bit more, like, it's more uh, well-rounded, in my, my opinion, of a team. Uh, nothing super, super powerful. Uh, it also lacks speed control, as you were mentioning. Um, the, his fastest mod is Alakazam at 120. After that, kind of jumps to Nine Tails, and then it drops to like Heracross 85, and everything else other than that is below 80. Oof. So that's like super. Uh, but he has he has spikes users. He has toxic spikes. He has self rockers. He has defoggers. I like that. He has the hazards. Um, he has a wish pastor. He has he has bulk to his team. Um, he has the U turner in Scizor, and he has Vol Switch and Afros. It's a decent team. I I'm not gonna be upset with this. It's just yeah. how he's gonna play it out. Oh, Skarmory plus Rhyperia is probably one of the most annoying things to break on this team. Break through in breaking through that. Oh, I don't know. Never seen Mega Ampharos like used in draft. I've never seen it go. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what he wants to do with that. Uh, Sun uh, looks really good on this team. Blastoise, and he also has screens option with Alex Sam. So if he can get screens up and get in Venus or in Sun with screens up, that's very scary. Well-rounded team. Lot of lot of hazards. Stealth Rock, Toxic, Toxic Spikes, Spikes. Um, but yeah, the one thing that's really throwing me off is the lack of speed control. Uh, if you if you want speed control, he's basically got to run Venus or Instant to outspeed something. But then again, a scarf a scarfer can outspeed that. Um, so that's kind of throwing me off here. Yeah, There's, I totally agree. Yeah, that's speed control. Speed control. But we'll see what. Um what the Burning Ham Jolts can do as they face week off week one against the Burning Ham Aarons. So that's oh. going to be a, a battle for Burning Fight Ham. to the Birmingham. Exactly. But yeah, uh, but like I kind of like this just because he has more options and, and not using all his points and super powerful stuff. He was able to kind of well round it and he has actually 12 months. So like compared Ooh. to other coaches who have only nine months to choose from, this gives him more of, of a chance to kind of play around with this team a little bit more so we'll yeah. see how this guy and with the, out. Uh, and with the other coaches we've seen like them only being restricted to, like certain ones like they're gonna have to bring every week but this one i can see dj bringing a lot of different options he can bring alexam need a queen skarmory gyarados is everything on his team is viable viable i think and he can do a lot with it all right, so let's move on to the next coach, and I have ranked at number 11, the Las Vegas Ladias, and their coach, um, I think this is Arbelado, is it? It should be. Yeah, Arbelado. Okay, so um, Arbelado is going to be rocking with Zygar 50%, Tapu Bulu, Halucha, Placephalon, Mega Gyarados, Magnezone, Stack Attack, Gardevoir, Mesprit, Ariados, and Avalog. So, um, also kind of like, I would say most of his points went into the first five mods, five mods. I think Magnazone is a pretty good mod. It's a decent one. Uh, Stack Attacka as well. It's not a bad mod. Gardevoir. I love using Gardevoir. Gardevoir can be amazing. Yeah. Uh, Mesprit. Out of the trio, I would probably, I like Mesprit more than I like Azelf. You guys, as I, I think these guys are more meant for the bulk. Area dose gives it a toxic spikes plus a sticky webs user, so that helps out his speed control a lot. Uh, seeing he only has two mons over 100, Halucha and Placephalon, but I think Placephalon plus webs would be a very, very scary mon to face. Uh, but yeah, I, I like this team. I like this team. I think Zygarde, the problem is. Top of Bulu is not a stab fair user, but he makes that up with Gardevoir. So this guy has offensively, um, physically and specially, he has the threats. Bulk wise, he has Stack Attacker. 
helps out a lot. Gardevoir is also a nice mod. He has the terrain plus Halucha. I, I, this team has it going for them. I, I, what are your thoughts? Uh, oh god, you want to hear my thoughts here. I haven't even looked into the other teams, and this is my favorite one. The reason for that, I have drafted Zygarde plus plus Aethalon so many times, and I love the two. They're two of my favorite mons, plus Gardevoir, probably one of my favorite mons. Then Stack Attacker, you want to go for a, uh, you want to go for a fighting type move or a ground type move against it. He has grassy terrain to stop the ground type move. Fighting types, he has an immunity in plus Aethalon. He has a resistance in Halucha. He has a full time resistance in Gardevoir. He has a resistance in Aridos. He has a resistance in Mesper. I love the synergy that his team has here. He has Volt Switch. Um, he's got a U-turn on Mesper. I don't really see him bringing Avalog too much. Um, uh, basically, Gardevoir, you're saying Wish Passer, that's more of a supportive set, but you normally see it more offensive. So it's not too much of a reliable Wish Passer, in my opinion, but I like this team. I have nothing bad to say about it. Abelardo, you're great. You drafted a great team. And, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, just kind of as you mentioned, yeah, the Avalog and probably... Ariados he probably picked up because he needed webs. But, like, those last two picks, probably, like, a panic mode. Like, oh, I need something that has rapid spins and I need something that kind of needs webs yeah. Uh, yeah. to bring at times. Okay, they just had to comment during my video. All right. Uh, but moving on to spot number nine, or People need to stop commenting on my Facebook. Sheesh. Okay, <laughs> so uh, we have the Tasmanian Toxicroaks, a good buddy of, uh, of mine uh, and Jetman99 that we met in PGL. It's glad to have you with us, Max Rapture. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if you'll be uploading. So Max Rapture team, actually, it's a, it's a really good team. I like it, I like it a lot. So he's gonna be rocking with Clefable, Jirachi, Necrozma, Greninja, Mimikyu, Mega Pidgeot, Trigalgy, Calvantula, Piloswine, Vileplume, and Leafeon. Uh, Leafeon, believe it or not, guys, it has 130 defense, so don't mistake him for not even being a, a beefy little bugger. Uh, but man, I've used Pidgeot. Mega Pidgeot is such a fantastic monster. Oh, yes, yeah, it is. Um, Dude, I've seen this guy use Greninja. He knows how to use Greninja. Clefable, Clefable is also a great mod. Uh, it's one of the probably one of the best fairy types out there that you can use in draft league format. Uh, Jirachi, Jirachi is a beast. You have the Serene Grace, um, Necrozma, also a beast. Mimikyu, also a beast. I love this guy's on Mimikyu. It, I think that's one of the, probably one of the best, best abilities. Unless you have Mold Breaker, you're not going to find a way to beat this. Or you have Full Town Geyser with Necrozma, but here he has Necrozma. So, that's set. Jigalji. Jigalji hits hard, believe it or not, with that adaptability. Uh, sticky webs on the Galvantula. Like, that helps out his beat control when he has probably four mods base 100 and up. Um, Vile Plume, Sap Sigler is fantastic. Um, so, what? He has. One spike user in Greninja. He has four rockers, a sticky web user, two spikes user as toxic spikes user, one defogger. That's probably where the biggest um, it caused my biggest attention in the defog sense, but that's fine. I, I think he can play around it. Um, he has a what do I want to call it? A toxic spikes absorber. In two of these mons, um, and I think he could play around rocks and spikes, if anything. Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, yeah, yeah, half of that cut out for me because Discord stopped working. But uh, I've never seen Max play, but I've been told he's a good player, and this is a good team. As you said, I'm not a fan of only the one defogger, but he can make it work, and he's got such big threats. Sticky Web works so well with this team. Uh, if you want to deal with Mega Pidgeot, you've got to bring a Scarf up. Oh wait, your Scarf is being slowed down by Sticky Web. Mimikyu and Sticky Web set up a sword stance for free. It basically wins. Jirachi, Stealth Rock Setter, he's got a lot of hazards. So people can try to set it up against him. Hazards, because he's only got one Defogger. But then he's going to stack you with hazards. Toxic, toxic Spike, uh, Sticky Web, Stealth Rock Spike. Um, 
but ninjas are really big threats, stuff like that. The only the only thing I'm not really liking is just the defog part and yeah, every, I could, don't, don't know what bad to, what bad things to say about this team. It's a really good team. Yeah, and um, like defog probably. I I know if he gets like stealth uh, stealth rocks up, it only hurts Mega Pidgeot really badly. Everyone else kind of takes it takes it yeah. well, uh, except Galvantula. Those two. So I'm pretty sure he could work around it, but uh, glad to have you, Max Rapture, and hopefully you do fantastic this week, uh, this season. But let's move on to spot in the top eight now. We're gonna be moving up. I have the Frisky Finnies here. What is this music? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so Frisky Finnies and their coach is going to be Little Rico MFZ. What? Also known as Davin. Okay, we'll go off with that Davin here. <laughs> um, so this is gonna be the first season where we actually even allow Mega Kangaskhan. So great pick by him. Okay, all this music is not working for me, but that's fine. All right, so Mega Kangaskhan, uh, Zapdos, Tapu Fini, Zygarde, 10%, Amoongus, Araquanid, Chandelure, Escavalier, Espeon. Diancy and Scrafty. That's what a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven months. That's a good roster right there. Eleven months. Um, yeah. So I just clicked the same video. I'm so sorry, guys. All right, so that's better music. All right, so um, Tabu Finny, super super bulky. I like it. Araquanid, he has the webs. Uh, he has rocks. I think only in Diancy. What? Okay, so that kind of. Eh. He does have a magic bounce user, so it kind of makes his opponents a little bit more weary of what they can run. But overall, I really like the synergy of this team. I love the. Um, I've used Zygarde 10%. Zygarde 10%. It's such a fun mon to use. It could be a huge threat. Um, I think Mega Kangaskhan is also a huge, fantastic mod. Zapdos is. I still don't know to this day how it can be so bulky. I, I <laughs> truly don't get it. It has only 85 base defense, but somehow it takes hits for days. Tapu Fini, uh, also fantastic, takes hits for days. Uh, Amoongus, Regenerator, just that thing's a beast. Chandelure, a nasty fire type with 145 in special attack. Espeon also 130 in the thing. Diancy is a mon you should never underestimate, even though it has only uh, 100 in special uh, attack and um, and attack. It's just you don't underestimate that mon. Intimidate with Scrafty, it's decent. It, you have an intimidate user, uh, but what? So I guess he has two defoggers. He does have magic bounce user, so it kind of makes his opponents very aware of what can they bring. Uh, speed wise, what do we have? Two 100s, 115, and 110. Not bad. Could be better, but he does have the sticky webs. So take it away, Professor Beware. I love. I really like how how much there is going on this team. You mentioned sticky web for like things like Saigon, Mega Kangaskhan, but also if the opponent over preps for sticky web, he has the trick room option with Diancy, Escavalier, Chandelure is really good in trick rooms. So things like Scrafty, offensive Scrafty. Um, assault Vest Scrafty is very hard to break down. You need to run a fairy type move, and a fairy type move is covered up by Sh uh, Chandelure, Scavalier, Among Us. A Tapu Fini can take them. And as you said, Zapdos is very bulky. He's got Volt Switch on Zapdos. Um, That's uh, it for yeah, U turn on Zapdos, I think he gets. Yeah. Um, but Ka Kangaskhan is such a big threat, um, and also it's Zygarde, as you've shown us. The, the thing I don't like though is um, only one hazard setter, but he does have magic bounce. Uh, two hazard setters, um, but only one rock setter. He, do he does have um, magic bounce, as you said, and. But what else was I gonna say? Um, no rapid spin. No rapid spin, which is very bad. Yeah, alright, so 
Um, yeah, but I think he can truly make this team work. I, I know there's yeah. a lack of spinners and, and stuff, but I'm not sure his opponents like. I, I've seen people, they just get in Zap Dills clean and they can defog those away. Uh, opponents would be more likely to bring Rapid Spin or their defog against him, but I'm hyped to see what Davin can do with this team and how he's going to play it out in the season. All right, yeah. so moving on to spot number seven, where we have the Outback Kamalas and their coach, a good, we all, everyone knows who has, who's the coach of the Outback Kamalas by now, Jetman99, also known as the Rage Man. Rage Man. Uh, the Rage Man, yeah. But his team consists of Thunderous Eye, uh, Infernape, Gathatelia, Gathatel, um, Superior, Mega Agron, Love the Megagron, Haxtris. He always drags Crocodile, uh, Crocodile, uh, Lycan Rock, Midday, Weezing, Granbull, Kukumuku, and Fanet. Um, so, yeah, this team, Thunderous Eye is a monster, and the fact that he made that his Z Crystal user is fantastic, along with Infernate. Um, he has a shadow tag user here, so that's gonna be super, super scary to face. You don't want to get your wrong mon stuck. Uh, superior, fantastic, also mon. So basically, wait, he has 111, 108, 113, 112 in speed wise. So those are really good speed tier mons. Uh, Paxtris, Paxtris, if you get a dragon dance up, this thing can be a monster. Uh, Mega Agron, fantastic mega. He knows how to use Crocodile, so that's like off the bat. He knows how to use Lycan Rock, that's off the bat. He has Toxic Spikes with Weezing, I love it. He has Intimidate with Gramble. Um, not sure if it's the best Ray type, but it's a good one. It's, a, it's okay, it's a decent one, really. Uh, just because of the speed tier. Uh, Pukumuku, um, I'm not a huge fan of Pukumuku. I, just anything that's stall, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, but Nat, and probably a huge panic attack all it's really good for is frisk other than that not, not really much but what are your thoughts uh yeah jetman is known for running some heat and things like granbull pukumuku banet i didn't see them like they were going to get drafted but um it's going to be exciting to see how he uses them the i like the gothet help plus mega Aaron bulk is very hard to take down um, and then Infernape and Thunderous is two really big threats. He's got U-Turn, he's got Volt Switch, he's got Stealth Rocks, Toxic Spikes, um, two Defoggers, no Rapid Spin, which we've said it so many times already, no Rapid Spin, but Hazards don't really affect his team too much. The only thing that's really weakened by it is Thunderous, and he's got And he just kind of cut off. So you're probably going to say just kind of thunderous. And I think that's it. And then for defog, I think superior gets defog, right? Yeah, superior. So you can bring in superior easily. Um, but I'm pretty sure we, everyone knows Jetman. Hopefully he wins because <laughs> if not, he'd be raging. So I'm pretty sure people are going to be rooting for him to lose. But don't worry. You got my vote into winning championship here. Um... So, let me check Discord real quick. Make sure you're still there. I don't even know if he hears me. Uh, but I'm gonna just kind of jump into spot number six real quick, guys. And spot number six, uh, yeah, I just spoke. Nope, I can't hear you. Disconnect. Again. See, this is why I need editing offers. I'm, a, I'm actually gonna leave the car real quick and let's call him back. Nope, screen share. Oh. Alright, hello? Oh my god, that was annoying. Okay, so we're, <laughs> we're back. Uh, do you want to finish up your statement? You were saying something about uh, rocks only affecting Thunderous? Yeah, only rocks affects Thunderous. Um, and he's got two defoggers, so it doesn't really matter that much. Gothotel can trap things, weaken your team. Then he brings in things like Infernape and Thunderous. Set up, sweeps you. I've been swept by an Infernape. Shout out to Lazy Ghost. Um, 
but I don't really see him bringing Burnett all season, but let's see what he can do with it. Uh, Jetman is known for bringing some good stuff, and hopefully he can bring some good stuff and some memes. Alright, so moving on to spot number six, which I think might be the hardest team to break this season. Rocking with the Aeron 12 and the Celestila Megalotaria, Cobalion, Cresselia. I, just the fact he has Cresselia and Celestila is... Uh, <laughs> he has Alola Ninetales, so, so he can set up Aurora Veil. <laughs> he has oh my a God. Rapid Spinner in Tentacruel, Dawnfan, Alolan Persian, so you know you're going to have the party shot. <sighs> he has Talonflame, uh, Pamisian, uh, Pamisian uh, Zepstraika, and Cradilly. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you hold back. Go out. Go. Just go. Go for it. No, I hate this team. I hate this team so much. <laughs> Celestina plus Celestina plus Aurora Veil. Cresselia in Aurora Veil. <laughs> oh my god. What am I even looking at anymore? Uh, he's got a nice fire, uh, fairy dragon steel core, I guess. Um, uh, Mega Altaria is a big threat if we run physical or special. He's got Don Pan is always a very good pick. Uh, Stealth Rock and Rapid Spin. He's got two spinners, two defoggers to help Talon Flame come in and sweep, um, or at least damage your team. No Wish Passer again, but I don't really think that matters too much. Cabalion, very nice. He's got Volt Switch on that. He's got a lot of turn you turning around, Volt Switch switching around with Cabalion and Persian and Persimion. Um, I know. Oh yeah, and Talonflame. I know he likes to use Basimian from like other leagues. I've seen him in. Him in. Um, he drafts the same team in every league, a similar team every time. But so this is going to be very annoying for people to break. I'm so glad I didn't join for the off season, so I don't have to face this team. But, yeah, same um, here, man. Same here. <laughs> but I actually but am. Uh, heads up, surprise, guys. I will be joining another league. That Aeron 2412 commissions. So hopefully I can beat him there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Unless he drafts a team like this. Actually, I sniped him, but that's for. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Okay, so yeah. Uh, Mega Ataria, I think Mega Ataria is just a. It's a crazy threat. Like, Mega Ataria with a Dragon Dance is no nothing to mess with. Uh, but the fact that he has it paired up with Celestia, as you mentioned, it's just. I don't. Like, this team is just so nasty, in my opinion. Uh, Aeron12 is also a great player, so it's like, oof. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to see this guy battle. Uh, but with that said, I think we could jump on to the next one because, yeah, he has two spinners, two defoggers, three rapid spinners, I mean, stealth rockers, and a spikes user, uh, toxic spikes user, two spikes. So yeah, this team is very, very thudly, very... It, it can hazard stack and it can just stall you to death, it really can. I think the word you're looking for is very yuck. I think we can go with yuck. Yeah, this team is very <laughs> yuck, indeed. Uh, but uh, ranked in number fifth, I have put the Mesa City Machamps. I've never seen a bat pal battle before. Um, but you know, they call them the KBs for a reason. But looking at this team, he has Garchomp, he has Tornadus T, uh, Mega Beedrill, Starmie, uh, Klepki, Menchow, Tangrel, uh, Delphox, Audino, Shuckle, and Electros. Uh, so I like I like the speed. Like he has uh, Delphox 104, Menchow 105. Uh, Starmie at 115, Mega Beedrill at 145, 125 for the Tornadus T, and Garchomp at 102. So meaning he has three Defoggers, he has a Rapid Spinner, he has a Spike user, he has two Stealth Rocks user, he has a Stink Web user, and he also has a Toxic Spikes, which I did not know Mega Beedrill actually gets. Um, but yeah, I, I love... I've always wanted to use Mega Beedrill. I think Mega Beedrill is a fantastic mod with adaptability. Garchomp is always a threat. Uh, Starmie can also be a huge, huge threat. I think it's actually considered the best Rapid Spinner in the League format. Uh, Tangrowth with Regenerator is a fantastic mod. Uh, I think Delphox was, he needed a good fire type and that was pretty much that was left. Um, Tornadus T is my only problem with this team because 
that thing just misses hurricanes for some reason for me Ooh. and i just i don't know only for like jetman 99 it lands hurricane which <laughs> even last week it missed in our battle it probably missed three hurricanes back to back so that's my only problem with this mod but regenerator with torn t and tangrove can be actually a huge huge problem and the fact that he can just freely u-turn between tornado's t and mega Beedrill makes this a threat he can vault switch with the electros uh Menchow also gets u-turn so this team could be a problem for most teams what are your thoughts yeah, this is a very decent team. We've spoken about speed control, teams lack in speed control. This team is very fast and he also has speed control. If a team wants to bring Trick Room against him because he's got such a fast team, he can reverse the Trick Room with things like Klefki, Ordino, stuff like that, Delphox. He's also got Sticky Web on there in case he wants to make his Mega V-Drill even faster. <laughs> but, yeah, because uh, uh, Scarfers are a thing for Mega V-Drill, you're right. Yeah. Tornadus U-turn, Mega Beedrill U-turn. Uh, Tornadus as a Z Z move user is very strong, um, so it doesn't have to uh, like doesn't have to risk missing the hurricanes. Um, he has got two wish passers. He's got a cleric as well. So I like how this team synergizes as well. Things he also, he's got lots of specially defensive mons in. Delphox has got a decent special defense stat. Shuckle's amazing uh, defensively. Shuckle also got physical defense. Tango's got physical defense. Um, Tornadus is kind of bulky. It can be run with uh, Rocky Helmer. Gartromp has rough skin. So I like how this team synergizes. Um, I can't really think of too many downsides for this team. I think uh, they've drafted a very strong team here. The Kaz Beast, um, Bat Kyle, and... Um, we're going to see what they can do in their first season of LDL in yeah. the offseason. <laughs> Welcome, newcomer, rookie. All right, so ranked at number four, I have the Tempe Trevenants and their coach being, this is going to be a shocker, Old Man Waffles. <sighs> this oh. team, man. This team, indeed. This um, is a great one. This I, is a great one. Just looking at the top, I was like, Mew and Manaphy, how can you guys let them get both base 100 mods like that? These legends uh, also ranked with uh, Heatran, Mega Manetric, uh, Como O, Star Raptor. I love, love Star Raptor. Great mod. He has Delmize, uh, he has Sneasel, he has Mudsdale, Quillfish, and Toxa, uh, to Togetic. So he has three Defoggers, a Rapid Spinner, he has a Spike user, he has four Rock users. Quillfish, who also gets Toxic Spikes. He has Wish Passing, he has Priority, he has Cleric. Um, we know, like, the fact that man, uh, like Mew can be anything. Like, it can be anything, uh, and along with that, you have a Tail Glow Manaphy. It's just super, super powerful, super nasty. They, they both get, um, like, Initiative, they get U-Turn, um, Mew also gets the Vault Switch, along with Vault Switch from Manetric. You get a U-turn from Star Raptor. Star Raptor Reckless is just... I don't know. I like this team. I really, really do. What are your thoughts? I, I As you said, this team has got everything. Uh, I really like it. The only thing I can see, Togetic, it's not an amazing fairy type, but it does have like a uh, Wish Pass, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, Wish Passer, it's got Cleric, um, but this team is a really good team. Mega Manetric on top of Manaphy and Mew. Como o with a Z-move, very strong. Manaphy with a Z-move. Heatran is just very bulky, very hard to deal with. Mew can be anything. This team has just got everything. It's got U-Turners, it's got Vault Switch, and Mew plus Manaphy plus Mega Manetric plus Como o plus Staraptor plus Sneasel plus everything on this team is so difficult to prepare for and this this is number four for a reason this is a very good team and I I wouldn't be surprised if not many people beat um, Old Man Waffles this season he's going to be a very tough opponent with this kind of team yep uh, I'm excited to see how he plays out. All right, so we're going to be ranked. Uh, moving on to spot number three, the Iowa Club Choose. Welcoming back a former champion, champion of LDL Season 7. Right? We just finished Season... No. I don't even know what season. Or Season 6. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I, I lost. I, I'm pretty sure we just finished Season 
seven was it? Yeah, probably. No, we just finished. no, we just finished season, season eight. eight. Okay, so he's the champion season, season seven, and then he retired. So, oh, I, it's like it was sad. It was sad to see him, but he's back. And ladies and gentlemen, he's gonna be rocking with Tapu Koko, Hydreigon, Mega Aerodactyl, Gengar, Arcanine, Bronzon, Seri um, Serena Gligar, Hitmonlee, Miltank, Quagsire, and Kecleon. And I don't like this music. Hold up. I don't know why. Okay, that's better well, music. Okay, this is better than music. Okay. So, the fact that he drafted Tapu Koko with him on Lee is just... It's going to be a problem for everyone. I love Arcanine. Arcanine is a fantastic fire type. I think Gengar is also a fantastic mon. I think Arid Mega Aerodactyl can be underrated as a mon as well. Hydreigon, also fantastic. Serena... It's probably one of the top tier, in my opinion, rapid spinners. Bronzon, you don't mess with Bronzon. Bronzon is a fantastic mon. Yeah. Uh, Gligar, Gligar, fantastic evil light mon. Um, it's a fan, it takes hits for days. Mil Tank takes hits for days as well. It's it's also pretty fast too. Uh, Quagsire, so you can't even set up on this guy. Uh, Kecleon, I think Kecleon is probably a panic mode. Uh, I don't see it doing much, but for the rest of the team, I, I like the rest of the team. It really, really looks solid and it's well put together. What are your thoughts? You are not getting hazards up against this team. He's got four defoggers and two rapid spins. Two rapid spinners. And speaking of underrated, this oh, this team is underrated. I think Gligar, I think Gligar's underrated as an EVLite -like user. People don't tend to draft it as often as it, as a, it should be drafted. With the EVLite, -like, it's so bulky. It gets U-Turn, Earthquake, Stealth Rocks. It also gets Tailwind, so if he wants to set that up. Tapu Koko plus Mega Aerodactyl. Two of the fastest things in the format. So, so hard to switch into Mega Aer Aerodactyl and Tapu Koko. And then add a Specs Gengar on top with a Z-Move Hydreigon or a Z-Move Gengar. Arcanine, Intimidate. It's a very nice team. As you said, I think Kecleon was kind of panic. I don't see it coming too often. I also don't see something like Quagsire coming too often. If he's going to bring Gligar over it, I think he'd rather bring Gligar over Quagsire most, in most cases. Bronzong, I really like the synergy of this team. That Fairy Dragon Steel, Bronzong, Hydreigon, and Tabu Kogo is so scary. It's always nice to have a good ghost type in Gengar. Rock types, I think, very strong. The only thing with Mega Aerodactyl is it missing its stone edges, but that's just one otherwise... One home claw, and that's actually a... Yeah, one, one home clause and you lose. The only thing you can do is bring a Scarf up. Um, but yeah, I really like this team. I really can't say much, much bad about it. Let me lock only one, uh, no wish passer, and they are good. This, I know Carlos is a very good battler, and they are not messing around this season. Can't see them losing too many games. Yeah, same here, same here. I think he he only lost like probably three, and thing. Uh, so moving on to the top two. I lied. Carlos didn't win. He lost. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh, uh, it that's... was um, Brennan won. Man, I think everyone was just rooting for Carlos. I, you know, I was just, yeah. we were all rooting for him that I thought he won. <laughs> but I'm sorry, Carlos. I, I, you're probably listening and like, oh, was, it's just a bad reminder. Okay, but moving on <laughs> to spot number two, uh, a very, very powerful mega here, Mega Latios. Uh, we have, oh, I didn't even mention the team. <laughs> no, Bonnie, Obama Snow, <laughs> and their coach, uh, Blaze, also known as Ryan. He's rocking with the Mega Latios, as mentioned. Excadrill, Tyranitar, Silvali, Tox. Um, I was almost said Toxapix. I'm almost, I've said like Toxapix for three teams already. I mean, Togekiss, <laughs> Salazzle, Chestnut, Jolteon, Seismitoad, uh, Wobbuffet, and Miss Magius. You know Miss Magius very well. <laughs> oh yeah. But I know it. <laughs> man, this team, I was looking at this team. This is the best. Weather-wise, we have a hail team, we have a sand team, and we have a sun team. The sand team is what comes out on top here. He has extra drill plus the Tyranitar. 
phenomenal, fantastic. Uh, he also has speed with Jolteon at 130. Mega Latios is a fantastic Mega. It has 160 in special attack. Nothing to play with. It has 130 in attack as well, and it gets access to Drag Dance. Like, what? You have Sobali, which can be any typing you desire. He has um, Toga Kiss. Toga Kiss is a fantastic fairy type. Uh, funny, like, I, you don't see it as much as often anymore, but it used to be the annoying Thunder Wave slash Air Slash set. Um, I think Salazzle is an underrated fire type, uh, fire ant um, poison type. Um, Chestnut gets access to spikes. It's a bulky mon. Uh, Seismic Total gets access to rocks. Uh, Wobbuffet, not 100% sure of... I, I know, I don't know. Wobbuffet, I'm never ever feeling. Uh, but what are your thoughts on this team? I love this team. This is a good one. I've never been a fan of, fan of sand, but this is a good one. You've got to keep around one of your best Pokemon to take on this team. And if you leave it in against a Wobbuffet, that's going to punish you and take out your team. And then Miss Majors, so underrated. Salazzle, as you said, Excadrill. That's all I can really say about this team. Very strong team. And excited to see what he can do with it. Things like Rapid Spin, Defog, he's got Cleric, he's got Wish Passer. Miss Majors is going to put in work, Ryan. Use it. Oh, well, <laughs> good luck, because uh, week one, he's up against the. Uh... Anyway, he's up against a Goodyear Kujas. I don't even think we mentioned the Goodyear Kujas, did we? We didn't. You left, we left them out. <laughs> what? Wait, what? I knew there was 18 coaches. I was like, isn't it 18 coaches? Hold up. <laughs> Wait, let me go to the files real quick. Did I miss a file here? Oh my god, players and trainers. I am so sorry about this. What? I'm like, why is he face... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, because I think, okay, I think I see it now. Yeah, I guess it only goes up to 16 spots. I knew it was 18 coaches. I asked, I was like, I thought it was 18 coaches. What? Okay, so, <laughs> did I even put them in the list? Wait, is it in the list I sent you? Who oh, no. Where's Shane? Yes, I had him right, <laughs> I had him at right below Max Rapture. And there's another team missing. <laughs> Who's missing? We've only missed out Shane. I'm pretty sure we've mentioned three, everyone else. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What? Did I skip over Shane? Think... Yeah, we, we didn't talk about Shane. <laughs> Sorry, okay, Shane. Not... Okay, let's go back. Let's jump back. Shane, let's talk about Shane's team. <laughs> it is 16. Sorry, Shane. I thought it was 18 for some reason. It's not 18. Okay, sorry, so, sorry, 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 wow, I can't believe we just did that to the uh, champion, wow, okay, um, <laughs> just because you lost to him, don't need to be salty, <laughs> I lost because of a misclick, <laughs> the biggest misclick, it's the best misclick ever, actually, um, alright, so Shane's team <laughs> is gonna be rocking with, uh, Lando I, Mega Mawile, Weavile, Volcarona, Porygon 2, Rotom Watch, uh, Verizion, Uxie, um, Tangela, Claydol, and Barbacle. Uh, so, actually, I don't even know why I have this team ranked so low. This team is power. <laughs> this team is straight power. Uh, I know he has, what, 1, 2, 3, and speed? I, I take this back. This team should be number 1. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no. I probably should rank this team higher. He has bulk with Porygon 2. He has bulk with Rotom Watch. Uh, Volcarona sets up one Quiver Dance is problem. He has speed with Weavile. Mega Mawile hits super duper hard. I think Uxi is a fantastic mod. I love drafting Uxi. I think Uxi is probably the best of the three uh, when it comes to drafting format. Uh, Tangela, also a bulky mod. He has Rapid Spin with Claydol. Uh, Defog in Landorus T. Landorus T is a huge, huge threat. This team is power, actually. I don't know what I was thinking. So, take it away. Take it away. Oh, Shane. Oh, Shane. We know what you can do. <laughs> we know what you can do, and with this kind of team, Landorus T must plus Mega Marwile. Oh, that's going to be difficult to prepare for. And then you've got Speed with Weaver, you've got Volcarona. As you said, Verizion, Volcarona just sets up and kills you. Um, 
He's got rapid spin, he's got defog, he's got everything I could want. I don't know why you didn't rank him higher. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what was going on. It was probably a late I night. That's what, <laughs> that was it, that was it. I don't, I don't know, Shane. This is going to be a very strong team. U-turn, Volt Switch, everything you could ask for. Mega Marwell, I remember I had it for one season in a league and it got eight kills in like three games. It's that strong. It's so good. And this is the one time it's been allowed. So um, take value it. Yes. Bring it every way, every game. <laughs> Without a doubt. Um, so yeah. And then last but not least, let's rank onto number one as we're closing out to the one hour mark, actually. 56 oh. minutes been. It doesn't feel like it when you record these. Nah. But number one we have ranked a very very good veteran i don't think this guy ever disappoints when it comes to drafting he has the glazy ghost uh arthur here uh rocking that mega low punny ladias zera aura nido king florges shaman um bisharp cofagrius uh empoleon and moltres so this guy has four defoggers three rockers two toxic spice users um i have arthur ranked so high because look at that speed that speed he has 135 in mega low punny 110 143 uh with the zero aura 100 in shaman and then you kind of think oh maybe this team is super slow but he has kofag with trick room and that that just helps out so much more for the slow mons uh florges is a fantastic fairy type he knows how to use needle king so i tell you do not sleep on needle king when it comes to this guy um making zero or his z user is fantastic as well as as ladias um i like this team i think with this team plus knowing the way that arthur plays is it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one and it's gonna be one hell of a ride oh yeah i know this guy he's a good he's he destroyed me two times in ldl season eight so but i was messaging him the other day about like i can't remember what it was but i was looking at this team and i was like you're gonna win the league this this team is so good mega lupany plus latias plus Zera aura all very difficult things to switch into and then if you want to bring a scarf out, he's got Cofagogus. in polion people say best defogger um it gets rocks um no rapid spin but that's fine bishop uh, sets up it's so strong when it sets up like iron head sucker punch shaman is a very good supporter support with like leech Sheed wish uh, stuff like that serene grace uh not serene grace what am i on about does it get serene grace uh, no, Shane. Natural clear. Yeah, natural clear. Natural. Oh, what's my brain going on? I'm thinking of Jirachi. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> they're all the same thing, basically. But Nito King is so strong as well. He's got loads of threats on this team. And he's got so much bulk on this team as well. Defog, Stealth Rock. He's got so many hazards, toxic spikes. And the only thing I can really say is no rapid spinner. But it, Lazy Ghost doesn't need a rapid spinner. He doesn't need one. He he's, he's gonna he's gonna beat you any way, shape, or form. Mega low punny just comes in, clicks, return, fake up, power up, punch, last resort. It's a really fun set. Sarah Aura, very strong man, and yeah, I think this is going to be this is the best team in the league, in my opinion, um, and I think he can win so many games with this team. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I, I just I just expect to see him in either semifinals if he doesn't face uh, Shane. Once again, <laughs> soft Shane. Because if you guys have not watched that video yet, I'll link it here at the end. But Shane and Arthur do go at it. I think I just kind of spoiled it, but I highly suggest <laughs> you watch it. Bit. It's it's a good, fantastic video. Uh, but yeah, players and trainers, that is going to be our LDL offseason post-draft uh, analysis here hosted by yours truly the blazing squid and professor beware don't forget the name yes but with that said players and trainers we will catch you guys in next week's video this is going to be going up hopefully tonight if not i'll put it up on friday morning um but yeah uh, this weekend i will be watching the videos catching up and sending my 
uh, getting Jesse those ready, and as well as Professor Beware. So expect us to see us soon next week, players and trainers. But with that said, coaches, we wish you the best of luck. You guys are amazing. Stay blazing. Squid out.